Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, we're going to be going through our first setup of the Xbox One S. So we have it here, the setup screen. All I gotta do is press the Xbox One logo to get things started. Let's see if it's very similar to the original setup here. Now that it's been a couple of years since we did the setup for the Xbox One S. Let's go ahead. Sun. Tap A. Hi language English which one of your networks so we'll have to go through some networks networking setup here all right we're connected up let's go ahead and start the update and the update has completed it takes around 15 minutes or so for the update to complete but once you're done you're back here and now the xbox controller is now the white controller that matches the new xbox one s so we'll go ahead and hit that button and let's continue doing the setup here oh we got another update it looks like all right it looks like there wasn't an update it looks like it was just checking and it just brought us back to the screen here so let's go ahead and jump in and check the united states now we gotta choose our time zone let's see here we're not in pacific so we need to go a little bit further down till we get eastern time zone here there we go eastern time us and canada hit that automatically just daily saving times yes hit next all right there are two power options for your xbox while you're not look while you're not using it let's take a look energy saving or instant startup faster startup slower startup time okay all right. All right. I think we're going to want to choose instant on as it goes through this. All right, it's just going through each one of these. Energy saving, getting it interrupted for updates, get updates automatically. I guess just showing you the differences. We're going to choose instant on, even though you can choose either one. We're going to choose instant on because we want faster. All right, now we have to sign in with our Microsoft account to get all of our settings and stuff downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. All right, now we're signed in here. Your privacy is in control. Just give us some information. We can read the privacy statement if you want to. Go ahead and hit next. And sign in and security preferences. No barriers. Ask for pass key. Lock it down. Looks like you have a few options. No barriers on this Xbox. You can sign in and see your data. On web pages that use your Microsoft account, change your settings and buy things without extra steps. Ask for my pass key for doing that stuff. Sign in, you'll need your entry password each time. So we'll um, do the pass key option. Well, actually, we'll, well, I guess we can do no barriers for right now since I'm the only one who uses this Xbox. I can change that obviously, but that's pretty good for folks that are uh, in situations where they, they, they're in a house where they need to kind of keep everything secure. All right, use instant sign in. Yes, we do. Here's how you look on the Xbox. Yeah, that looks about right. Hit next. We'll choose a color. Uh, let's stick to, we'll stick to that accent. I'm fine with that. I actually like that. Go ahead and hit next. All right, the montage video is completed. Now we logged in and looks like I need to do a controller update. Let's go ahead and update the controller here, which I should be able to do wirelessly now, I believe. Yeah. All right, that's it. Our controller has been updated. Three, two, one. And our control is just finished updating. Go ahead and click on close. And here we are. We are in the main page here of the Xbox One, uh, the new One S. As you know, it's gonna pretty much have the same uh, system and software that we've seen before. Uh, obviously, I don't have my apps and stuff set up on here yet, but we will get those things uh, downloaded and put onto here relatively soon. So for now, uh, so far it's a little bit uh, faster, I noticed. Um, it's, 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 it's noticeable probably when you're, as you're using it, but it is a little bit of a better response time as things are kind of, you go through the menu system here and I click through things, but we'll see as I add content and my stuff to it to see how well that stands up. But for now, that's what you guys got to do when setting up your Xbox One S. Notice there isn't really something that signifies One S because I think eventually that S is going to get dropped when the Project Scorpio comes out and it's just, just going to be Xbox One and then the Project Scorpio, whatever that's going to be officially called. Um, you had about one big update to do this, about one gigabyte, and then you have another controller update to do, which took about uh, five minutes to complete. The big update took about 15 minutes to complete. So you're looking probably at about a 20 
25 minute sort of setup depending on your internet connection and such to uh, from your brand new Xbox One S to getting into the main screen here so like I said we'll get everything else set up here and going real soon hopefully this video helped you guys out thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page connect with us on all our social networks and always remember to live your tech world in high definition